So when it comes to adding new items to my wardrobe, I have one simple rule, and that is one in, one out. It's simple, right? If I'm choosing to add a new item to my wardrobe, then I also have to remove a current item from my wardrobe. So what's good about this rule slash like system is the fact that it helps me cut back from over consuming. So if I'm out shopping or I see something online that I like, in order for me to get that item, I have to say goodbye to a current piece in my wardrobe. Now, I personally like everything that is in my wardrobe. So this new item needs to be better or serve like a better purpose than something I already own, which nine times out of 10, it doesn't. It's literally just like that impulse of wanting something new. What I've kind of learned over the years is that it's okay to like plenty of different things. It's okay to like that new overcoat and like those new pair of boots and like, like I like a lot of stuff when it comes to fashion, but just because you like something doesn't mean you need to own it. So as simple as the rule is, I haven't exactly been following it that well over the last three to six months due to things like like I moved apartments again, like COVID and that whole kind of like situation. And then in all honesty, just being kind of lazy with the one in and one out rule, which is why today we are gonna be doing a big clear out slash wardrobe declutter. I say we, it's, I'm gonna be doing it, but you guys are gonna be a part of it as well. And things will be put up on Depop and everything. So it's, it's definitely like a team effort, yeah. So to make this as simple as possible, I'm going to take everything out of my wardrobe and put it onto this clothing rack behind me. Now, obviously I can't fit my entire wardrobe onto that clothing rack, so we're gonna do it in stages. So physically taking out all the items from my wardrobe allows me to have a better look at each individual piece. But mainly it helps me be a lot more strict on whether an item should actually go back into my wardrobe. So to help me stay a lot more on track slash honest with myself, I have four like questions slash guidelines to follow when choosing whether or not I should keep an item. One, do I love the item? Not do I like the item, it's do I love the item. I want to be excited to wear each of the items that are in my wardrobe. Literally, this is the first thing I'm trying on and already I'm like, Ugh. <laughs> what if blah, blah, blah. I really like these trousers for when it's like summertime and then it's like the beach. But then the thing is, I didn't even wear these last summer at all. So there's the answer, like I like these. I know a lot of you guys like these as well, but like I said, we've got to be strict. So saying goodbye. Two, when was the last time I wore the item? If it was over six months ago, then chances are I don't like it that much. Some of these items, I just know that, like I don't even need to try them on. And it's just like, even though I really like them, I know I, I just don't wear them anymore. So like some of them, I just can straight away just be like, nah, get rid of. Three, do I see myself wearing it in the future? and not some like weird as scenario that will never take place, an actual occasion that I see myself wearing it. I've had it in the past that I would have stuff in my wardrobe that I would never ever wear, like never ever wear. I had these old, like like five old, like scrummy black t-shirts and stuff. And I was like, no, no, I need to keep these because what if I go paintballing? I've been paintballing once in my life and I haven't been paintballing in the last like probably, probably five years. And I was like, yeah, but if I go paintballing, I will need some like clothes I don't give a shit about in order to go paintballing. So I keep five, five black t-shirts. That, that's what you don't need to do. So avoid that. And finally, number four, does it in line with my current style? Oh, I've had this for so long. This is actually sick. This is the Arket uh, trench coat, not Arket, sorry. This is the All Saints trench coat. I've had this for like three years and I've gotten a lot of wear out of it. But now, this is what I'm saying. This this doesn't align with my style anymore. I really like it, but if I'm gonna wear a big coat, I know I've got others that I prefer more. So this is like phase one. I expect there to be three to four, four max phases of stuff I need to put on the clothing rack. Now this rack here is stuff that 
it's been in my back of my mind like do I keep it do I not like I've already been on the fence about some of this stuff also though some of it is more like very certain situations of when I might need these items so that's kind of what we're working with here we're gonna leave like my main wardrobe area to last because that's where I have to be very very firm <laughs> uh, but yeah let's get into this bit first I might actually keep these I know I'm not gonna wear them too often but I, I like the fit of them they, they fit my waist they're different they're so out there but I think they're uh, these are key. This next bit sucks. Um, these are the cold box and joggers, kind of in that purple wash colorway. You guys know I'm a massive fan of cold Buxton. Uh, even my next two pair of joggers are cold Buxton. But the thing is with these ones. I, I think they're great. I think the color's great. If I only had one pair of cold buxins, I would keep these. The fact is, I've got two more right here. The gray one, the dark gray, and then the lighter gray. And these ones are just very, I mean, I know they're different colors, but they're so similar-ish to the grays that I just don't go for them as much. So I definitely know that these are all sold out. So these can definitely go to a better home. Like, I, I don't even think I've worn them. I may have worn them like once or twice. Um, but like I said, because I just, I love these ones so much, there's no point having another pair just to just sit there just because I like them. So hopefully, you know, this goes to a better home, one of you guys, if you want them. So this next one's funny. And I feel this like might be an issue with like some people is that you hold something to too much of a, like a high level so this shirt is by Prada um I actually got gifted it like from weekday no I didn't I got gifted it from Mr Porter and as much as I think it's a cool shirt if you've been on my deep ah, damn this is an annoying thing man you put it on and you're like oh I actually like it oh that but when have I ever worn it maybe, maybe you shouldn't try them on maybe the maybe I made a mistake with actually trying items on maybe you should be just look at it and be like I haven't worn it get rid of it feel when you try it on, obviously I like my clothes, that you're like, oh, actually, oh, this reminds me, I do like it. If I didn't try this on, I honestly would have just put it in the to get rid of pile. Maybe don't listen to me. some pieces that you haven't worn in a long time and that you don't ever really wear but like white t-shirt sorry a white shirt and a black shirt I mean this one's got the label on so you can tell I never wear these on the casual by myself however I think it is good to have these in your wardrobe because there are certain events um, or certain times in your life that do call for these so even though they're not worn all the time or often at all it is then okay to like not feel guilty about having them uh, in your wardrobe. They're kind of like that when you need it type thing. So I am gonna keep both of these, but I don't need two white shirts that I never wear. So this one uh, from Zara is one that I will uh, put in the get rid of pile. Now, phase two is all the stuff that was kind of like not hung up. Bottom of your drawers and all that stuff, the stuff that you kind of forgot about. You just you just keep piling it in. You know there's something at the bottom, but you just kind of you, know, you sh sh stuff it in and you try to close that drawer and it's kind of clothes sticking out. That's this stuff. <laughs> This, I love. This is one of those items that I do really like it and then I got something very similar that I ended up liking more. So as much as I want this in 
my collection. Like I said, like if I want to get something new now, it's one item in, one item out. And I think this was put away as that one item out that I never actually got out, like took out. Like I kind of like cheated. Um, but now it comes to realize like it does need to, I do need to part ways with this. from all the dust on the shoes from not being worn. These are the shoes that I'm unsure about. I've got like um, in my room, like on my, like I've got a shoe shelf in there of the stuff that I know I'm gonna keep and those are like my favorites. Um, you know, like whether they be like Doc Martens, Ecne Studios, all those type of stuff. There's no point bringing these out just to be like, oh yeah, keep, yeah, you, I'm, gonna, you, yeah, I'm gonna keep those. Um, but these are the ones I've been kind of unsure on, the ones I haven't worn for such a long time and things like, that these are funny <laughs> these are these are from asos these white boots uh, they're a blatant like copy of like you know they like kelvin klein ones uh now the reason i got these i don't know if i did mention them in, in a video or not but was because i wanted to try out white boots and i wanted to try them out before investing like a good quality pair to then be like Meh. like i'm pretty sure these were like 30 pounds or something. Um, I still have, I'm gonna keep these. Um, I haven't worn them out or anything like that. I just haven't had to like, I wanna keep these because I can explore this. I mean, this might annoy some people. I'm just, I'm not a, it's not really my aesthetic. I thought it was, it's not, so goodbye. Phase four. Now this is like my main portion of my wardrobe. This is kind of my job. So if I have more clothes and stuff, just allow it. This bit though, doesn't actually need that much of a clear out. This bit I was actually quite strict on when I moved into my new place, um, where this was obviously like, like I said, my main wardrobe. So I, there's not too much I need to go through, but there are certain items in here that I do need to get rid of. For example, we're going to start with the knits and stuff. We're also going to finish off with some accessories and bags at the end. But knitwear, I already know in here, the one that I want to get rid of is this cardigan. It is really nice, but the thing is, I'm a sucker for cardigans, and I have this one, which is from Arkit, which is, I tend to wear this a lot more. I kind of like the tone of the color of it a lot more, and I, I don't need two that are so, so similar, in my opinion, so I will get rid of this one. A lot of you might be surprised. These were the Zara ones. So I know a lot of you really wanted these trousers. So you'll be happy to know that I'll be getting rid of mine, mainly because I've got, I feel, I personally don't wear navy trousers that often. And I've got another pair of navy trousers that I do tend to wear more than these ones. So we're gonna say goodbye to these. technically phase five even though I said it but it's so small it is just bags and accessories so this Doc Martens bag is so sick I was gas for that I love this bag I think the style of this backpack is excellent if you're gonna get a backpack and you want it to be stylish I think I, I highly rate highly rate it uh, the thing is I don't I'm a tote bag guy and I should have learned like just because I like it doesn't mean you need it but yeah I think I've had this for almost two years now um, or a year and a half and as much as it's sick 
I really do like it. I don't ever see myself opting for this over my tote bag, which means, like I said, I'm being really strict. We're getting rid of it. Joel's crossbody bag. Joel, this is really cool. It's a nice bag. I just don't wear it. I'm not even gonna lie. I think it's cool. I, I, I did use it at first quite a bit because it stored the camera that I'm filming on in it very well when I went out. But now I don't take that camera out much at all. So I don't tend to go for this one. Like I said, I'll go for my Prada black one. So Joel, as much as I like you, bro, as much as I think you did a cool collab, sorry, bro, there's no exceptions, man. <sighs> sorry, Joel. we have it team that is me decluttering and kind of like clearing out a huge portion of my wardrobe and I must say it feels pretty damn good now I'm not going to show you exactly how my wardrobe is set up now and how everything is organized because I'm going to save that for the apartment tour which will be coming very soon so definitely stay tuned for that but What's gonna happen with the items that I decided to get rid of? Well, a few things is gonna happen. Some of them are gonna to go to like the charity bins and things like that. Some, I'm gonna see, you know, what do my friends want? Is there anything that my friends kind of want? And then also some of it is gonna go on Depop to make it available for you guys because I do know there are certain pieces in there that I've gotten rid of that a lot of you have been after. What I'm gonna do right at the end of this video is have all the pieces trying on that will be like on my Depop and things like that so you can kind of see what they look like on me. But again, remember, don't get something just because you like it. Ask yourself, do I need this? Is it gonna serve a purpose? Is it gonna be in my wardrobe for a long period of time? That's what you wanna start thinking about. Um, but yeah, team, hope you enjoyed it. Keep dressing well and I'll see you all next time. Peace.